So right now we're on the same document that we were uh, in yesterday's lesson, and that's taking a perspective, where we read about Predator and, and th thought about perspective as a whole. Now I'm going to have you click on this website. You can follow along with me or just watch me as I go, but you will need the website up to in order to do this. So it's on the Teacher Scholastic site. And if you click it, it will take you to an interactive website for the Underground Railroad and the Escape from Slavery. The introduction that you see here is basically a background information and this is some information that the reader would need in order to have an idea. So the year is 1860. Nearly four million enslaved African Americans live in the South. Follow one of these slaves along the Underground Railroad, which is a secret network of hiding places and brave people who helped runaway slaves reach freedom. If you would like to have it read to you, you can simply click the headphones like I'm doing now. The Underground Railroad. Okay, and then it will read it to you. We're going to begin our journey. You can follow with me, so push pause when you need to. I'm going to read this first starting point, and then I'm going to show you what it looks like. And I, after that, I want you to click on each of these, two, the escape, three, reaching safety, and then reaching freedom, and then do the same steps that I have with mine. So I'm going to read this. My name is Walter, and I was born a slave in Virginia. I've been working in these tobacco fields since I was a boy, planting, harvesting, binding, and stacking back grip breaking work sun up to sundown I sleep in a small wooden cabin with another family an old hay mattress on the floor for a bed no privacy still I wouldn't be a be a house slave here for nothing the mistress won't even get up to do, go across the room to get a drink of water a negro has to bring it to her I was sold to the plantation in Kentucky when I was barely old enough to walk I can still remember my mother running out of the big house, begging the master not to sell her baby. I was on the back of a wagon. The horses had started to pull away. The wagon's, wagon wheels kicked up a great cloud of dust. Her cries faded, and that was the last time I ever saw my mother. Some time ago, I showed up a God-given talent for woodwork. The master let me try my hand at carpentry and building and I began to dream of using my skills to buy my freedom, like I heard some slaves doing. But then the master died. The son who inherited me has no interest in farming, and told me that a skilled slave is worth a lot of money in the deep south. I cannot bear the thought of picking cotton for the rest of my life in Mississippi. By my reckoning, I am almost 20 years old. I was born a slave, but I do not intend to die one. Now. As you can see, I was clicking the arrow, and you're going to have to do that when you read or have it read to you. And then in the rest of the scene, you can click on these plus signs to bring up information about the character that is, is highlighted. So this is about the plantation owners, and that that could be in your report. And this one is about um, the parents of the slaves, and this is about their cabins that they lived in. What perspective did this writer take? I want you to write it down and be ready to talk about things that you noticed in this as you go along. So for the rest of your work tonight, I want you to read the escape or have it read to you. Then I want you to look at the plus signs and do reaching safety and reaching freedom. So the rest of your, the work is on you. Good luck and do some learning.